throughout the course of Smash Ultimate here. So I expect to keep, uh, I expect to see him keep up the pace in here with ZSS. And definitely the only player really doing things with the Zero Suit Samus. Um, Nairo opting to go with the uh, Palutena as of late. Palutena, and we've seen him with the Lucina as well. But Mars still rocking that Zero Suit. Definitely a lot of her offensive capabilities got nerfed. Okay. Um, you know, of course, the ladder combo not existing anymore. But, you know, that flip kick is still really good. And in a game where you have to really push disadvantage, I still feel like flip kick is so good. And the, yep, that is going to be a Pichu very, very light there. The down smash still confirming. That's that some beat. FGC stuff right there. Like, you know, walking your opponent into a better position so you can find that KO option right there. Yeah. Like, you know, she's definitely borrowing some FGC uh, tactics right there. But for good measure, you know, I actually originally seen that with... Uh, uh, Nairo at the Phantom Legends event. He was doing that to some of the opponents. I was like, wait a minute, because you can't walk through your opponent, you can actually kind of push him around here. Yeah. I like this. This is actually a really good tactic. Yeah, and I actually think it's a really good change to the game. I know um, when, it, for, when it was first discovered, some people were not the biggest fan, but I, I like it. Yeah, you know, I, I like it. You know, I, I, have my, uh, I have my drawbacks with it, you know. It just really depends on how well I'm playing in the match, you know? Because right. if I lose, I'm, I'm frame one blaming it on that. Like, <laughs> oh, man, I couldn't walk through my opponent, man. What is this game? But if I win, though, I'm like, yo, let's get it. Oh, wait, I think that says Salem. Salem? Salem donate. He's somewhere in the building right now donating money. Shout out to uh, Most Valuable Gaming's very own at Salem, man, for putting some money on the board here for the people in need. We love that. Creating that goodwill. You already know, man. That's right. Years of research finally paying <laughs> off for us. Let's get it. That's right. <laughs> All right. Mars trying to get him with the kicks there, and yeah, Void definitely in kill percent being that Pichu very light character. But uh, this light character packs quite the punch here. You got to watch out. the oh, Pretty much the biggest glass cannon character in the game, in my opinion. Yes, absolutely. There's a down smash again and, and another up special. Are, uh, That's going to do it right there. And with this in mind, Mars right now playing very, very comfortable here in this matchup. Now, see, historically, especially looking back at Smash Sword, this could be one of ZSS's tougher matchups. Yeah. Because of the fact that, you know, P2, Pikachu, regardless, you know, they, they can low profile uh, some of what ZSS brings to the table. But because, uh, you know, ZSS is a stronger character, depending on who you ask, and because P2 is so light, you know, that's kind of like a... Uh, uh, it's, it's almost like a cushion, if you will. The fact that, you yeah. know, you can KO P2 at such a ridiculously early percent with something like up special. Up one of ZSS is stronger, but yet riskier options. I think Mars is going to be very comfortable here as this set kind of trails on. Oh, the up air, but Boy not getting the connection. And right now, Mar and now it's, it's scary because Boy's a kill percent. If he gets buried or down smash, he could just die here. Mars with the rage, of course. And that that's what, like that can always be one of your outs versus Pichu. Like, you know, he's really, really hard to hit. But, you know, I can kill his character at 60%. That's so. right. Okay, oh. gets the falling forward air. Okay, trying to put the toes on him. That's Toby Bryant. And Mars is doing such a great job of avoiding all the kill options from Pichu, but finally the back air connects here for Void, and now Void working on this last stock here. Mars at 0%. Has to play very, very strong here. Cannot afford to fall into any of ZSS's traps because every piece of percent matters here. There it is, oh, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. And I think he might have felt that maybe he was at a safe enough distance away for that down smash to not connect. Oh, wait. I think that says Shroud. Shout out to Shroud for donating $1. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep go, the money coming here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, and I mean, right there, like you said, it, Boy got hit by the very end of that down smash. Maybe you thought he was out of range, but that, that up smash still got that good range, and you don't need too much time to, you know, charge a forward smash or anything like that against Pichu. You just kind of run up, get that up B, and it's, it's going to kill fairly, fairly early because boost kick is still a very strong move. Yeah, boost kick is a, is a move, especially now in a meta where you can't run through your opponent. It just became that much more dangerous because yeah. now she can walk you into a better position. Like maybe she did it like center stage and like because, you know, not just speaking about Pichu specifically because I know that character is very light. Like let's say it was a heavier character. Like let's say it was right. like Link, you know. Now we can walk this character closer to the ledge just right. to ensure the KO option that time. And since uh, you don't fall out of boost kick, as much as you didn't smash for like you would fall out boost kick all the time, you can actually do the hard angles to the left or right just to carry your opponent that much closer to the blast zone, which uh -huh. we see a lot of ZSS players actually opting for that. That's right. Every piece of spacing, every piece of positioning certainly matters, especially in a matchup like this for ZSS, a character like uh, uh, like Pichu, who can be very bothersome for ZSS, you know, this certainly helps out, uh, helps kind of cushion the matchup a little bit more for Mars. but. You know, even with that in mind right now, it is Void right now who is drawing the first blood. And 
Mars really struggling here to show any signs of stopping the bleeding here. And that narrow house shield, very, very pesky. Catching the flip kick here, Void with the back air for to, to follow. No, Mars gets back to stage, but at what cost? Already at 109%. Mm -hmm. Okay, gets the one, two, three jab, backs off a little bit. Oh, look oh, at Machamp. Look at Machamp for poking. It. That's, that's another Lariat user right there. Let's, uh, what does that say? Ajax. Does that, Ajax? I think that's Ajax. Okay, I couldn't see because the screen was cut off. So that's my man Ajax in the building with the $40 donations. Ladies and gentlemen, don't ever let anybody tell you that the commentators don't care. Trust me. The we donor. care. We care. Yeah. Yo, shout out to Ajax with the dono, man. And shout out to Void getting that first stock against Mars here. Uh, quite a turnaround here. Mars taking that first game pretty uh, convincing, in my opinion. Uh huh. Yeah, that was very strong showing right there. Even though the, the percent, uh, you know, spoke one story, you know, the stock certainly told a very different one right there when it was all said and done. Even though Void kind of kept it close there, but, um, you know, Mars was just obviously playing on just a, another wavelength. But with this in mind right now, Void obviously keeping this match a little bit closer to his chest here. Not allowing, oh wait, tempo wow. underscore zero. I don't know if that's, oh no, that's that's not zero. But that's that's still zero though. <laughs> Yo, let's go zero. Let's go zero. Donation, thank you very much. Appreciated. And thank you everyone for watching and donating. You know, everyone out here, we try to create that goodwill. That's right. If it's not for you, wonderful faces in the chat and the wonderful faces at home watching, I'd have nothing to commentate. Like, you know, I know sometimes people always think like, man, the commentators are so cool. Like, they got the best job in the world. But honestly, man, the day production disappears, like the day these tournaments stop running, I have no job. You yep. know what I'm saying? And we can't host these tournaments without you wonderful people at home. So huge, huge, huge thank you to all you wonderful faces out there. Wow, and boy, falling out of the boost kick, actually. You don't really see that too often. Maybe it's because he was, uh, you know, stunned in the air there. Oh, wow, what a retaliation from Mars. But Void still surviving at 130%. No way. No, but no way. Caught him from up underneath the stage, and it looks like he was actually expecting a pop up there from Void. I thought, after, like, usually you see the down smash at the ledge, and you'll see them try to read it with the flip kick. But that time he goes for the up smash. I'm like, that was some tricky stuff. And there's the forward tilt to seal it out for Void. And Mars can get a simple grab here, and that will be the stock with Void. Not making it easy here for Mars. Can he get some damage? Mm-hmm. Okay, he's got to turn a little bit into a lot right now. Void obviously playing very, very careful, using his nimbleness, his evasion to his advantage. Obviously not wanting to fall into another trap at all. Gets the whip, it gets the name name. Everyone to kiss that stock goodbye. We've drawn this that much closer, but the percent certainly in Void's favor here. Yep, Void tacking on that damage, and that plasma whip is such a great kill move here for Mars, sealing out that stock. But here comes Void, mm -hmm. gonna catch the landing here. No, the jabs get off of me. Yeah, don't touch me, sir. Let me go. Ooh, okay, gets the grab. grab. Okay, that was smart. I think, uh, you know, he's kind of conditioning him to just run up and go for side B. Like, run up and go for short hop there. So, mm -hmm. obviously, uh, you know, I, I think the, the tether grab right now is a bit of a mix-up here for, for Void. Okay, Thunder Jolt. Nice. Try to answer back with the up stuff. So, that's the second time we've seen that in these exchanges. Hope it doesn't cost him too much percent, though. Now, can Void seal out this stock? Because now it's looking... Since Pichu does damage himself, he is getting to the point where you're damaging yourself into de kill percentage here, and Mars is still holding on to this stock right now. That's right. And he's slowly but surely starting to chisel his way back into this for every exchange that you don't win. For every move that you go for that lands right on shield, you're putting on unnecessary percent for yourself. Okay, he's going to try to read the air dodge. It actually goes for the flip kick that time. Wow. And then the toes. Topra oh, Winfrey. Oh, uh, well, whoa. That <laughs> hit. Topra. Yeah, that hit way below legend. I mean, that move is definitely <laughs> Peach's best move. Yeah, it's free. We <laughs> the toe. Yeah. The that's toe. that's the SpongeBob big. Remember, he was learning how to drive, and he just popped the toe out. Oh, the yeah. <laughs> that's that right there. The <laughs> rrr, 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 <laughs> that's the toe. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, shout out to SpongeBob, man. Shout out to SpongeBob. That's hype. My boy, Mr. SquarePants. He learned to drive, man. Yeah, and that, that hits so far below the ledge there, and actually catching Mars on the up and it can be pretty difficult to contest the boost kick to ledge there, but Void, no fear. Knew he, had, he was in a position where he had to seal the stock because the longer the game went on, the less in his, in his favor it was becoming. Yes, and you don't want a guy like Mars to get that glimmer of hope on you. That oh, no way. That he can bring it back on you, because trust me, he will. Okay? And, you, and you don't want to go down 0-2 versus Mars either. Definitely because that don't. Oh, is a God. very, very long and stressful hill to climb. But we'll see who takes it here on this game number three, the, the, the middle of the pack game. Middle of the pack. Middle of the pack. Yeah, not too many players in the world can say that they reverse 3 0 Mars. So definitely keep it close if you can. Let's go ahead and get it right here, man. Game number three, man. We're on Yoshi's. You guys already know it. Everybody loves this thing. No, I'm just kidding. I couldn't even finish that sentence. Everybody yeah. loves this. You know what's crazy, though? Back in Smash 4, everybody complained. Like, man, 
Sakurai said the 3DS stages were coming over to Smash 4. I really want to get rid of Duck Hunt, really want to get rid of Lila, and I got the perfect solution, dude. And you're like, what's that? Yoshi's. Yoshi's. We're like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. We'll let's stay in 3DS for a little bit for that short time that we played it competitively. Let's do it. But now here it is in Smash Ultimate, and people are like, hey, uh, Chief, I don't know about this one either. <laughs> I don't know about this stage either, man. Yeah, Yoshi, very uh, controversial pick. And, uh,. Yeah, I mean, Mars definitely likes this stage for the ZSS. I think this is also a really good stage for smaller characters as well. Uh -huh. But um, definitely a comfort, comfort pick here for Mars. And it, it's just a little awkward. It, uh, the way you ledge trap on the stage is a tad bit different because you see how slanted the stages are right by the ledge, especially. Yeah. It's at its most drastic slant right at that area. So some a lot of people... Not too fond of ledge trapping on this stage. I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of it either. And I don't really do it very often. I mean I play Link, you know, so my ledge trap options are a little different. But you know, I usually don't uh I'm not the biggest fan of this stage, at least with, with Link. When I play Me Gunner, I can just like run away from the ledge, turn around forward smash, catch a neutral get up because the move is just so ridiculously long and it lasts forever. Right. Um, but yeah, it, it, it varies from, from character to character. Oh wait, the directional air dodge right into the ground. Okay, Mars. Letting them know I got some percent to work with so I can direct the air dodge pretty quickly out of your combos like that. Okay, but not for long, though. Oh. Gets the up smash. Nice stuff. Hits it with the whip. Where are you jumping, my boy? And Get out just of my like air. that, the whip. Oh, but the forward smash is going to seal it out this stage. The side blast zones are so, so tiny. Wow. This little character packs a whopping punch here. Oh, Sakura yeah. was like, "What? Give me a list of characters that missed the game." Uh, yeah, <laughs> Wolf, uh, Ivysaur, Squirtle, uh, Peach. Yeah, buff them. They're all. all broken. Yeah, make them broken. Like, sir, but what about the original eight? Nah, 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 nah. What about the newcomers, man? My nah. boy Incineroar got cooked. Nah, man. He said, Nah, Incineroar got a good trailer. That's that's all he oh, needed, man. Because uh, you know, he can be moving out there. But what about all the other newcomers, man? I see my boy, my, the Belmonts, Ridley. Incineroar, they, they, need they all getting too, man. slapped. They need some love too, Craig. All right. Newcomers need love too, all right. That's what I'm saying, man. God. Okay. Right. Mars going to use a little love himself so right now. Looking at, uh, we're going to try to bring this thing back from an 85%. A whole stock of deficit here from Mace and so myself. And this is certainly not going to be any easy feat at all right now. Void has the lead, and he's switched up the oh. play style completely. Obviously not playing as close anymore. Playing very safe. Going for a lot of aerials right on shield. Trying to low profile what Mars is going to bring to the table here. Can he find an opening though? There's the up air. Yeah, and you know, Mars does really like this stage as a ZSS counter pick, but like I said, it is a strong pick for these smaller characters. So you got to be really careful because it's already hard to hit, you know, Pichu with ZSS particularly. And it's just even harder on this stage here. Up throw Thunder, not going to connect here. Instant air dodge here for Void. Can Mars survive the onslaught? He's at 136%. He can't get hit by a lot of things. Mm. Pretty much anything from Pichu or oh. the toe, the driving yeah. school, the boating school toe. You definitely can't get hit by that move right there, Chief. But yeah. anywhere on the stage, such a powerful, powerful tool here for Pichu, especially in that lost stock, last hit situation, and now Boyd up 2-1 here against Mars. That's right. And ladies and gentlemen, just to make it uh, make it clear, the names are actually flipped. Leffens underscore Ghost donated the dollar. Yo, Four go. quarters. Thank you for the love. I didn't know Leffen died, though. Did he Did he die? We didn't know. I guess. Oh, because he doesn't play Ultimate anymore. Oh, really? He, he retired after Pound. That's why. Really? I was like, wait a minute. I was like, Leffen didn't retire from Smash, just Ultimate. He beat at Pound, man. I, I thought he did pretty well. Dang. Yeah. It be like that. It be like that. His roses are red, violets are blue. It don't always be like that, but sometimes <laughs> it do, though. <laughs> One of my students told me that. I was like, what the? That's hype. I said, pull out, pull out your math book. What the? <laughs> Ain't English class. What is this? <laughs> all right, Hamlet. The poetry, man. All right, all right, Hamlet. This ain't drama. All right, so once again, it looks like we're going to return to the stage. Mars definitely was uh, bringing it back in that uh, last game, but yeah, like I said, it, it, the, the only con really is that, like on these, some of these signs, it can just be a tad bit harder to, you know, get that Pichu. That's right. And as you see right here, a lot of percent's been put on the board. Right now, Mars really struggling here to find an opening. Using these fall away thunder jolts has kind of put a, been a thorn in his side. Oh, wait, but he falls out. Wow. He gets a second chance at life just to get it almost taken away there from him by Void. Okay, hey, lands here. with the dare. Yeah, with very, very risky option. Oh, oh, if that down smash connected, you were done. Oh, but the boost kick, the back air to follow, surviving with the flip kick. It does it all, man. That's right. It most definitely does. And again, another aerial off stage. Right now, Mars really struggling to just to keep his footing here, you know? I mean, obviously he's doing a really good job here in the neutral, but when, I, when I'm telling you, man, when Boy gets that one hit, I mean, he's taking Mars for a ride, man. And he honestly got let off, let off the hook there in that first exchange. He thought of that uh, that down smash. 
Oh, oh there's yeah. the up special. Almost said up smash that time because he has been getting a lot of mileage off of that as well too. Yeah, the up, spa uh, up special, excuse me. And it's, it's crazy because the up smash, you would think it wouldn't hit such a short character, but that initial scoop hitbox is actually really, really good. Mm -hmm. And okay, now even stocks here for Mars, and that's pretty much all he needs, man. It's just, it can be really hard. Wait a minute. Oh, he, he tried to hit him with the Smash 4. Yeah, he definitely did. I like that he's using Dash Attack more when he sees the uh, the short hop come out from Void, because he knows that he's using yeah. a lot of short hop Thunder Joe. So he's just using Dash Attack to kind of just force his way into the into the exchanges. Okay, uses the wall hop, gets back to the ledge. That was really smart. Probably didn't want to go for the up special when it, when it happened, because he didn't want to go over the ledge and get punished. Another down smash that Mars is falling out of. I mean, it might be a combination of the stage or just Smash the Eye coming out from Mars. Mars definitely has really, really good Smash the Eye. Wait a minute. Ooh, the up smash definitely would have killed at that height. Uh-huh. Okay, nice. Gets the turn around side special. Oh, oh, oh a that's turn. it. Oh, what? wait a minute. But the stage is giving and it's definitely taking away here from Mars. Shout out to Jamie James with the $25 donation. Woo, Keep go. that coming. We got the big ballers in the chat. I'm liking this. One of y'all need to take me out on a date, too. <laughs> Since y'all donating all this money. Look, I'm, I'm cheap. I'm a cheap date, too. We can even go to Burger King, Jack in the Box, you name it. <laughs> $25 goes a long way out here in Cali. Especially with the, the, the fast food life, you already know, man. Oh, you already know. I mean, fast food Jesus is in the chat, remember. Oh, yes. That's he right. was one of the donors. Right. He, he ate for our sins. All right. <laughs> man, that's crazy. We got fast food Jesus and thick Thor all in one week. <laughs> I'm here for all of that. The names are the best part of the donation. Yeah, that's right. right. So let's see if Void can rack on the damage or if Mars is going to seal it out with the Zare into the up smash confirm. Uh-huh. That's the first time I've seen that one. You already know. Next next donation, I'm reciting some Hamilton on, on stream. Oh, let's go. Let's I, get it. You I, already I, know. I know you guys want to see that. So yeah. let's get the donations coming in. And it's all you already know, it's all for a good cause, man. We out here trying to create goodwill. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute, gets the grab, reads the directional air dodge, goes for the forward air again. Void is on fire right now here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, he okay. is just keeping the pressure up. Finally, Mars getting the hit in with the neutral air. Oh, man, here okay. comes oh. Void, though. Okay, I like that. We haven't quite seen a lot of down tilt there from Mars. A really, uh, really good combo starter as well, too. Can kind of pop, uh, peach you up. He could probably go for, like, short hop there afterwards. Up air. Oh, nice stuff. He said, look, I think the down smash has been kind of wonky because we're doing it on center stage. Let's try it up here on this platform. Yeah, I like the idea there. Just a tad bit off the mark, but yeah, Void really trying to seal out this stock. It is getting to the point where, you know, Void takes another 20 or 30 percent. He could get his uh, stock ripped away by the clutches of Rage and Zero Suit combined. Uh-huh. There the is toe. The Yes, and the trade will end up swinging into Void's favor here. Now 3-1 now. Really, really good stuff from Void, and he is playing on point. Like you said, the pressure does not stop with this man. It doesn't, man. It's actually just out of control. Wonderful, wonderful gameplay from both of those two competitors. All right, about to bust out this Hamilton. Look, <clears throat> you ready? <clears throat> let's go, let's go. Yo, Thomas, that was a real nice declaration. Welcome to the present. We're running a real nation. Would you like to join us or stay in mellow doing whatever the hell it is you do in Monticello? Yo. If we assume the debts, the union gets a new light of credit, a financial diuretic. How do you not get it? If we're aggressive and competitive, the union gets a booth. You'd rather give it a sedative, a civics lesson from a slaver. Hey, neighbor, your debts are paid because you don't pay for labor. We plant Ooh. seeds in the south. We create and keep ranting. I know who's really doing the planting. And another thing, Mr. Age of Enlightenment, Man, don't lecture me about the war. You didn't fight in it. You think I'm frightened of you, man? We almost died in the trench while you were off getting high with the French. Dang. What do you think of that? Wow. That was smooth, I, man. That I, might, was... I might need to be in Hamilton. <clears throat> we might. I might need to be in Hamilton. Nice. Lynn, if you're watching this, man, there's a guy out here commentating who's looking to showcase his acting skills and his theater skills, man. Keep that the was... donations coming, man. I'll keep reciting smooth, Hamilton. Smooth like butter. Butter. Slice. All right. You know what I'm saying?